In the 1960s, the 16th Street Baptist Church was a staging ground in the civil rights movement efforts to desegregate the city of Birmingham, Alabama. Led by Martin Luther King Jr. and Minister Fred Shuttlesworth. This caused an uproar amongst Caucasian civilians and government entities in the state of Alabama. Governor George Wallace was also against the desegregation of Alabama and equal rights for so-called African Americans. I draw the line in the dust and toss the government before the feet of tyranny and I say segregation now, segregation tomorrow, and segregation forever. Theophilus Eugene Conner, Commissioner of Public Safety, shared the same hatred toward Blacks and the Civil Rights Movement. In opposition to the peaceful protests, he ordered the police department to sit canines on demonstrators and blast with fire hoses. The KKK, sharing the ideals of the Alabama government, employed several of their members to terrorize the Black community. On September 15, 1963, at 10.22 a.m., convicted criminals Bobby Frank Cherry, Robert Chambliss, and Thomas Edwin Jr., known members of the KKK since their youth, planted and ignited more than a dozen sticks of dynamite on the 16th Street Baptist Church. This act of terrorism resulted in the injury of 20 people and the death of four young girls, Addie Mae Collins, Cynthia Wesley, Carol Robertson, and Denise McNair. This was not the first nor last act of terrorism perpetrated by Caucasians against the black community. According to the Bible, Caucasians are the Edomites, and they have hated and will continue to hate the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians who are the Israelites. Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse one. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man, set thy face against Mount Sire and prophesy against it. According to Deuteronomy chapter two and verse 12, Mount Sire is referencing the nation of Edom. Verse five. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword and the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Amos chapter 1 and verse 11. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, he kept his wrath forever. Because we did not keep the commandments of the God of Israel, he appointed over us terror. The only way for us, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, to escape this oppression is to return to our true nationality as the Israelites, and keep the commandments of our God. <laughs>